Hey, it's Son with Precision Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie an olive pine squirrel crayfish. The hook I'm using is an Arex PR360 jig hook. Thread is UTC 140 and olive. Begin by starting the thread. Before attaching the eyes, I like to add a dab of super glue. Next, place the dumbbell eyes on top of the shank. You want it relatively close to the eye. Secure the eyes with figure eight reps. Then take your thread to the hook band. Next, we're gonna add a small dubbing ball right at the bend. This is Whitlock's SLF blend. I added a little bit of ice dubbing in there to give it that extra flash. The dubbing ball will help splay the span flex, which we're gonna tie in next. I'm using four span flex. All I did was take one piece of the span flex and then cut it down to four sections. Next, grab a single strand of crystal flash and tie it to the side of the shank. Stip it off just past the span flex, and then you're gonna tie it along the other side. We'll come back and trim everything later. Next, we're going to tie in the pinchers, which is olive pine squirrel. What I like to do is strip a little bit of the fur off the hide, leaving a nice clean area for a tying point. You attach it to the side of the shank, and then just repeat the same process on the other side. Next, we're going to tie in the wire. I'm using brassy gold wire. Just attach it to the side of the shank and bring it all the way back to where you tied in the pinchers. Next material is the scud backing. Here, I'm using 1 8 inch olive. You secure it just behind the dumbbell eyes and take it all the way back to the pinchers. Next, form a dubbing loop right in front of the pinchers. Add a little bit of wax to the thread. And then we're going to use that same dubbing blend that we use for the dubbing ball right at the bend.
Then cord up the dubbing with whatever dubbing twister you use. Then wrap that dubbing loop all the way up to the dumbbell eyes. You want to tie off the excess and then trim. Push any dubbing that might be sticking up to the side and then we're going to grab the scud backing, pull it all the way forward past the dumbbell eyes and then tie it off. Then trim off the excess. We're going to wrap that wire forward, making a little segment. It helps to have a dubbing brush to brush any of the fibers that are sticking up and getting caught underneath the wire. Tie off the wire and then just helicopter the excess. Grab your whip finish tool or use the hand whip finish and do a four to five turn whip finish and then trim the thread. Either wet your fingers or grab your br dubbing brush again and make sure that you brush as much of the fibers down to the side as possible before adding the UV resin. I'm using Solar Res Medium and we're just going to add a bead right on top of that scud backing all the way up to the hook eye. Then zap it with your light to cure the resin. Next, we're going to go in here and trim the span flex. I like trimming them just about the length of the pinchers. Then you're going to trim the crystal flash where they're just a hair longer than the span flex. And that's all there is to tying this crayfish. Try changing it up by tying it to different colors and sizes for big trout and smallmouth.